Okay, so this is us, this is Mother Murphy's, this is another cook and chat at Mother Murphy's and today we have another fabulous guest, we have Yindra Mandova who is a children's author and a healer um, but today we're talking about the books. Um, so introduce yourself Yindra. Um, hello everyone, thank you Debra for having me again in this lovely Murphy, Mother Murphy kitchen. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to be here with you. And how's this? Uh, we've got another one there as well. Yeah. We? I have my two characters. I'm making children books. Uh -huh. So for now, I'm starting for children. Yes, I have. I have these. Yeah. Gave her some, some that you yeah. made earlier. Yeah. This is books for children from age four. Some children from three, but mostly from. H4, the adventures from friends from middle. This is Oli and Alfie. Right. They are from the book two. Okay. And then now from the book five as well. So Good. I already have five books. Right. And we're going to talk about these as we're working away. Um, but when I was when I was talking to Indra and I said, um, what what would you like to what would you like to cook from my cookbook, which mm -hmm. is Mother Murphy's, um, so it was the magical tea room on the hill, and Yindra has never had Battenberg. So in my book, I have a recipe for Battenberg. So we are going to make two Battenbergs tonight because I need to take a Battenberg down to um, my daughter's at Christmas because that's her favourite cake. So we're going to make one each tonight, okay? So pop Ollie and yeah. Alfie there. And if you're doing a bit, if you're doing a Battenberg, the best thing to buy is a Battenberg tin. None of this messing about folding foils, or the union, putting cake on top of each other. Get a, um, a Battenberg tin. Let me just put that there, so you can see that there. And these sections come out. Okay. So what we need to do first is to grease these so that so that they don't stick. Okay, so there's some paper there, we need to grease it. And so if you make sure that you do the tin first. Okay. So what made you want to do the Battenberg when we, when we were picking cakes? What, what, what was it about the Battenberg that you fancied making? You mentioned it and I told you I've never, never had it. And actually, there are many recipes from your book. I never had it, and it's nice. It's Christmas time. It's colorful. Yes. You know my books are colorful. Yep. I love colors. You love colors. Yep. So once you've done the once you've done the, the tin, yeah. What you need to do is grease um, your three edges. Okay. Um, these are what going to divide the cake, okay. and so make sure you've done all the sides. Yeah, yeah. And that just, my best. that just slots in there. And I, I tried doing this and um, using grease proof paper, but it was such a faff that we just decided greasing them is just grease. Grease, grease, grease proof paper. Grease proof um, paper. So paper that you put in that, so like, like we lined the tins when we were making the parking with the paper. It's baking paper. Baking paper, yes. So, is it, it's a funny thing. We call it grease proof paper. I don't know why we call it grease proof. Why do we call it grease proof paper, Mr. Murphy? Mr. Murphy, who is wearing my glasses? Yeah, yeah. So. Well, obviously, it's grease proof paper because that's the way they've done it before. If you grease the paper, they really have that. Okay. Uh, it was the integrated the paper. Oh, sorry to walk across the thing. Let me wash my hands. Like grease proof paper. Grease like oily? Yes, and it stopped. You have grease proof paper to stop it sticking. Your cake is sticking up to the sides yeah. of whatever. That's what you've So it gives sense? Yes. Yeah. That's, that's, that's all that is, just to stop it sticking. <laughs> if you were making pancakes or something on the middle, you would grease it. Yeah. Just pop those just to one side. Now, so that's the tins ready. 
Just yeah. put those to one side. Okay. Battenberg yeah. looks really difficult to make. It's actually one of the easiest things to make. And the sponge that we make... Famous last words. <laughs> famous last words. Um, oh, actually, I must show you, um, because this is the evidence of um, what Florence did the other day. Yeah, that was, that was before she got hold of baby Jesus. Yeah. Um, so we are going to put all our ingredients all in together and then we're going to mix them in the food processor. So the first one we're putting in is rice flour. So this Battenberg is just by, just by nature of the ingredients is actually gluten free. Yeah. If you use um, stalk and almond milk or any other milk, it can be dairy free as well. Yeah. Okay, so we'll put the um, rice flour in. Okay, okay. And we have some a little bit of baking powder. Okay. Put that in. And we have ground almonds. Put the ground almonds in. And we have caster sugar. Okay. We'll just put those in and just give those a little bit of a stir just to make sure the baking powder is all mixed in. Yeah, just, yeah, just give it a, a stir. And we're gonna put the stock or butter, whatever you want to use. We're gonna put that in. Stock. This is stock block. So this is like, um, this is dairy free. Yes, yeah, as long as you, as long as you, um, Stock, stock is one of the things that my mum used to do for many, many years ago. So it's been about for a long time. And then we'll so is it that. Scottish word or is it no. word for, no, that's for no. dairy free butter? Yes. Oh, it's, it's one, one type of dairy free butter. Oh. I'm just rolling away there. Stock, stock is wonderful for baking scones. Okay, so I'll put that. If you want to make some scones, and do some stock. Um, so let, let's not have this. Let, no, 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 because you don't need to worry about that. Because we're going to, this is the easiest thing. We're going to use the food processor. Okay, okay, okay. Just get your eggs. I just beat three eggs. Eggs, yep. Okay. All together. All, all together. All yep. together, man. Um, but can I just say that it is a scone and not a scone? It's a scone. scone. It's a scone. It's not a scone. It's not it's a scone. scone. It's curled. And just put in that. You could use almond milk. Yeah. Okay. Just pop your milk in. Milk. Milk in. Okay. And now we're going to do the noisy bit because we're going to put this. So much milk for the sink in the pan. Uh, well, uh, so so the recipe is in the is in the book. Two spoons. Yeah. Yeah. Two, two tablespoons. Okay. So we're going to do the noisy bit now, um, and we're going to mix these together in the food processor.